tänker att du följer på stress. Jag ser det. Jag har inte tagit något sånt här för. Hi everyone, I'm sitting in my living room as of right now. I'm playing a lot of Animal Crossing and I actually went back to some of my older Animal Crossing games. Anyways, in the Switch Animal Crossing I have gotten to the point where I can actually scan in amiibo cards or amiibos to choose some villagers that I want to have in my game. So I'm gonna actually check that out with this Goldie card as of right now. So I'm gonna head over to the Nook Terminal. Oh my god, a Torrentella! I, <laughs> I escaped the tarantula by an inch. Invite a camper. With this option you can invite animals to the campsite using an blah blah. I suppose... Uh... Ah, that's a goldie amiibo. Would you like to invite her to? Yeah. That was easy. Okay, so what have I been doing today? Uh, I woke up, had a shower and then I did my makeup. I have absolutely no plans for today. Just gonna stay at home, uh, play some Animal Crossing. I uh, do not have uh, time off work, so I am still doing my uh, video journalism sort of work. And I actually went to film in our park in the city. The weather was terrible. It was snowing and windy and then it was silent and good but then it went all full storm again so the weather is really like random it's like you have all seasons of the year in one day and that is the weather now in northern norway other than that i talk on the phone every day i'm actually a lot alone i mean i live with the isha man mm. But I went to the park thing yesterday and I actually met my sister and my cousin. Yeah, mm hmm But we had to keep distance and you know, we couldn't hug or anything. That was so weird. Not hugging my sister. She works at a grocery store. So she's like, it's very important for me to not get ill with coronavirus because I work as a, you know, a grocery store works person. And that is a really important job right now because that is the only thing that is sort of open. So it's really critical. This is my favorite uh, villager right now, Bangle. I love him, he, he's always so good. And I also have Stitches that I know a lot of people are probably envious of me for having. I even have his amiibo card, as you could see. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna show you what I have on my 3DS. But I need to get the charger first. Okay, starting my 3DS Animal Crossing game, New Leaf. This is a game that I played in 2012 and 13, if I remember correctly. And <laughs> the graphics are so weird to go back to. It's mind-blowing. And like I said in my review, it is like night and day. And actually, when I logged on and talked with one of my villagers, they were like, it's been three years since we saw you last, Isha. That is amazing. So as you can see, I have made roads everywhere. To be honest, I didn't remember my city. I didn't remember anything. It's been so long since I played this. But I gotta say, I did a good job in this, uh, you know, town. Uh, I made it really pretty. Look at my old map. Oh my god. As you can see, these are the menus in New Leaf. Here you can see all my insects that I had collected. And I played this game for years, so I collected insects and fish, as you can see, a lot of fish too. A lot of them in different kinds of seasons, summer, winter, fall and spring. And actually, in this game you can also dive in the deep, in the ocean. I don't know if that is something that is also in the Switch version. We will see. Actually, I have stitches in this city too. I have stitches everywhere, apparently. 
I actually want to show you a few of my rooms in New Leaf while we are already in this game. Mm, here's my house. This is the living room. Pretty basic, I think. I have some of the more expensive endgame furnitures. Just a few of them. They were really expensive, I remember. I'm gonna show you a room that I am very proud of. That is the kitchen. I love the kitchen. It looks fantastic. I remember I was very happy when I completed that room. I'm also trying to build a kitchen in New Horizons. So I am collecting kitchen furniture, everyone. Another furniture type that I am collecting currently is bathroom items. So here you can see my bathroom in New Leaf. I was very happy with this room too. Very pink, very pretty. I remember also a series of furniture that was called sloppy furniture. Collecting that stuff too. It's really weird to go back to this game, but it is still a solid game. I still recommend Animal Crossing New Leaf. If you are like a new fan coming into the Switch and just want to see what the series looked like earlier. New Leaf was probably like a system seller. It was so good and sold so well. And I also heard yesterday on, on Spawncast actually. I, I stayed up and watched Spawncast. That is actually 4 in the morning in Norway. And I heard that New Horizons has sold super well. Like number on screen, don't remember. It was millions anyways. It has outsold Pokemon Sword and Shield in Japan. And it's just wildly crazily popular. In my review uh, of New Horizons, I mentioned Happy Home Designer. Someone asked me in the comments if I think this game is worth it, and yes, I think it's worth it. It is a spin-off, but it is a good spin-off of the uh, Animal Crossing series. So nowadays, I am just staying at home, driving my car sometimes. I talk a lot online and on the phone with the uh, people and I play games online and I keep in touch with the tiny hats on phone and discord and everything and we did a live stream the other day that is okay I can link that unlisted video in the description it's a two hour long live stream it is not very interesting but it is probably something for the very interested person I uh, moved uh, myself over to the studio room and the reason for that is that I actually have three packages that I still haven't opened and I can't open it unless I am recording and putting it up on YouTube because that is what I have told you guys. If you send something to my PO box, I guarantee you from now on that uh, it will be opened on video. There was one time that I, you know, didn't record opening something. Actually that has happened twice. But I have learned. So I think we are going to include this into my day vlog. Because why not? This is a part of my day. And this is from Yanni Helsinki. It is a piece of chocolate. Thank you. Hello Isha. You are one of those who make the life better by just being there. Lines. It's dark chocolate. I love it. Thank you so much. I can see what it is already. <laughs> a game that I don't have. Persona 5. I've heard so much good stuff about this game. I have heard only good stuff about this game. Amazing. Thank you so much for this game. Eulaya. Very sorry about the pronunciation. Thank you very much. I have some packages for tiny hats too. Like this one. It is for tiny hats. And two other things. Those are for tiny hats. When she you know, comes around. She's gonna open those. This one is from Alex Grave. I know you have been waiting on this. Ah, oh, yeah, more candy. <laughs> Thank you. Harry Bowl. I love it. Oh, yes, that stuff. Yes, yes. This is what we talked about. And I know it is an empty box. An empty box without the game. Because that is what you told me. Um, that you could send me the empty box so that I have it. And these are really hard to come by and very expensive on eBay. So actually, now that I have the cover, I can just look up the cart on eBay. You know, slowly trying to collect everything that is a Rune Factory. Getting there somewhere in my life, probably. But Rune Factory, I love that series. So that is gonna have the place of honor there. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are always 
one of the best to send stuff. I have lost count of how many times you have sent me something to, you know, to support the channel. These are my favorites. The green frog. I'm gonna go on with my day now. And you are coming with me. I am deep diving into an even older Animal Crossing game. This is my first Animal Crossing game, Wild World, for the DS. And just opening up this game, it looks exactly like I remembered, actually. I couldn't say the same about New Leaf, because that looked worse than I remembered it looked. This one I played probably more than any other Animal Crossing game. Wild World was like my child in 2006. And proof of that is that I always write the dates inside. I actually have an R4 game. But look at these graphics! They're actually not bad. I have to say they're actually not bad. This is the DS and this is 2006. You know, all the core mechanics and gameplay that you have probably come to know from, you know, later Animal Crossing games and the newest New Horizons. All of those gameplay mechanics are the same in this game too. I remember now I called my city Core Town <laughs> because that I was in my emo face. Mm -hmm. And I called my character Ashtray. I was 16, so what do you want from me? Here is the Abel Sisters shop. I'm soon unlocking that in New Horizons as well. I don't remember these villagers actually. I think a lot of my older villagers uh, moved out and a bunch of new ones moved in. I haven't had a look into this game, my old save file, in a very long time. Actually, I want to go and see what my house looks like. Oh my god, there's so much weed everywhere. The series hasn't really changed. Oh my god, my house has a lot of cockroaches everywhere and it seems I am collecting the blue furniture. Oh, I remember this room. This was my favorite room. So pretty and with like a lot of pink stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out my... Coco! Kai loft bangersk. Attic. Attic. Gonna check out my attic. And here I have picture frames. That is a late game thing that you can collect picture frames when you have maxed out a friendship level with one of the villagers. I actually have Gladys picture. That is a character that I currently also have in New Horizons. Do you guys even remember Wild World? Such a nice game. If you can find this, I, I actually recommend it still. It's really old, but it's sort of like, it's fun. You know, if you like Animal Crossing, you will like every mainline Animal Crossing game. Actually, one Animal Crossing game that I don't have is the GameCube version. I started at Wild World in 2006. Oh, I remember that I spent so much time in this game. And I played online also in this game with some people that I found in forums online. Well, I have probably not logged into this game in... Um, how old is this now? 14 years. <laughs> well, I have checked in on it, but probably 10 years since I was active in this game. A few moments later. Well, now <sighs> it is actually 21:15 already. And I think I'm going to watch some corona news. I try to really catch up on the news every day. You know, I've never watched the news as much as I do now. Uh you can make whatever you want out of that. It's already dark outside right now. So for the rest of the day, I think I am going to edit this video and get it out. And this is basically where I sit and edit. And then I'm gonna try and catch up on all the YouTubers that I watch. Uh, so I'm gonna check out my subscription feed. I hope you think it was fun to just stay at home with me, watch me do you know, the laundry and the kitchen and a lot of tidying up. And also you got to see my previous Animal Crossing towns. 
handheld version anyway, because the city folk save file I have lost. I no longer have that save file. And that happened when I transferred my Wii, the white one, over to the Wii U. The save file just doesn't exist anymore because of that. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap things up right now. Make sure you hit like if you like vlogs. I have had a lot of fun making this. Make sure you subscribe also to my channel and uh, leave a comment. I'm gonna try and sit here and reply to every single comment. No promises, but I try to, you know. So I will see you later. Bye.